So we might have a swing trade soon on Euro JPY. And I said, let us anticipate because it's better to be prepared and lack opportunity rather than having the opportunity there. But you cannot even notice the opportunity. So let's analyze Euro JPY and you see what I have seen. It is very, very amazing. You see, when you analyze a chart and you have been waiting for a, like um direction and then you get it, I don't know why sometimes we feel lazy to follow up on the direction. And, and yet we were hoping and praying for that maybe direction to come to, to us. So this is lesson 77. I want us to understand that I will be doing up to lesson 100. And then when we hit to 100 lesson, I want to do a live trade where I will put a 10 lot. Then after that, the Holy Spirit will guide me because even giving these tutorials, don't think I really want to give it. It's just that when the Holy Spirit gives you wisdom, understanding, knowledge, he has to tell you where to get it to, uh, to take it to. I don't think that you can be given wisdom for nothing or for your own good. Even when you learn here, you have to teach someone else, pass it over. That's how we learn. Another thing, guys, many people are asking if they have a mentorship program. Yes, I have a mentorship program. You can pay for my mentorship. It's only $400. Physical class, you have to be in Kenya to come and attend my classes. It happens every single month, the first week and the second week. So like November class, we are now going to the second week. If you're not in Kenya and you want the class or the course now, if you want that course now, 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 you can purchase the course just to WhatsApp me. I will leave my WhatsApp number. You can buy the course. It has 12 modules, five, five episodes per module, and that contributes to 60 videos. The best thing is nothing that I've posted here that is in the course. It's things that I have analyzed and made it specific for my students. You will learn BW strategy and RB strategy, which is specific for my students. And then I ask, I expound on CRB, CSB, WBB, and the rest of the strategies. I do it in details. That's where I even talk of time frame alignment, and I talk of top-down analysis in more details. So what I'm trying to do here on YouTube is for those people who cannot, who cannot afford my course. So don't tell me to lower my price. In fact, my course should be now going to $1,000, but let's stick to 400. And if you can't afford, God loves you so much. That's why I have been instructed to do a hundred lessons. I don't know from a hundred lessons what the Holy Spirit will instruct. So take this lesson seriously. If you have been to lesson 77, by the I want you to comment down below. Did you start from lesson one? If you have started from lesson one, I want you to comment down below and say, I have started from lesson one and have learned so much. You can learn for free. So with that being said, let's get into the trade euro jpy on the monthly time frame so this is a very good uptrend and you see when we have an uptrend like this there's danger why because anytime this market can be overbought when the market is overbought we see a very big drop so you can see um from what i'm seeing sellers have tried to come in even if it's an uptrend we can see these are zones that sellers have attempted to come. We have not seen change of character. You know how you see the market was buying and then all of a sudden sales have, have come to have come in. On the monthly time frame, we have not seen any sellers that have the boldness to break the previous support. So what they are creating is high lows. So we have seen so much high lows and the market has started to create high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows. So this is an indication to tell you that this market is a very, very strong uptrend. To try to come and sell this market one, what can happen is that you can get a very good drop. Why? Because the market has been buying since 2020. So for the market buying for the last three years, hey, if you get a drop, you can get a very good drop. But the problem with us trying to buy such a very good uptrend, sellers uh, have to break a current support for us to know that now is a reversal. So sometimes you may mistake, and I think I've done this video. If I've not done it, I will redo it. I have done a video between reversal, understanding reversal versus uh, understanding reversal versus retracement. So you need to understand 
what is the difference between a reversal market and a retracement. A retracement mostly is the market that retraces the support, the resistance broken. And we have one, a retracement or a deep retracement. So this market can decide to retrace here or can even do a deep retracement back to that support and then now can go forward. So we have a retracement like that. So most of the time when the market do a deep retracement, what it does, it creates a pattern. I think I'll do a video and expound on that. Uh, it always does a pattern. But a reversal in this case, the market comes uh, and it pretends, uh, let me do it um, in a more clear way. For a reversal, the market drops and you think it is retesting, it is retesting that zone to go up, but the buyers fail to break now the high and they start creating. So they break that uh, support again and retest it. That's how now you can see reversal coming in. So it will continue breaking and retesting those areas. So that's a reversal for us. The problem is we know how reversal looks like. We know how retracement looks like. The problem is how do you know which one is happening? Like, how would you tell? And that's what we have here. We have a dilemma. If a sell comes in, we can see that the market even has an opportunity to continue to buy up. Can you see? So this market has a chance to buy to how many pips? 851 pips. And we see again, a resistance was broken. So when a resistance is broken, we have to have like a kind of a retracement. So from the monthly time frame, we got this retracement already because if there's a week, it means sell retraced there. But the, the question is, will this market continue to go up? Is it an overbought market or it's a continuation? An overbought is where the retracement starts to happen and then retracement changes to reversal. So for me, I was confused by the way, because looking at the monthly time frame, the buyers are uh, since July 2008. The market has been on a high. It was at 170. Right now it has 161. So the question even I was asking myself, will the market hit back to 170 or it's time for the market to do that deep retracement where it is no longer retracing, but it's a retracement where sellers might overcome the buyers. So I was torn in between, but I didn't want to conclude until until this week that passed and i started to get ideas guys so let's go to weekly time frame so from the monthly you have seen the market broke resistance and it is going up so what i've come to realize is that um there was weekly there was this channel so this is what people are seeing can you see there's this channel break so i've been waiting for this market to break and you see for us my student, we love using BWA and the BWA, this, it's a rule, it's a breaking rule strategy where you're told if it breaks, it has to do this for you to enter. So I was waiting for BWA strategy for this trade. And when now I'm given the market has broken resistance, I'm supposed to, to, to buy up to this area. For, for, for me, I felt, why is these things too good to be true? Why are they telling me that my first guarantee take profit is just pips away like i can take advantage and and buy i'm not telling you that the market won't buy but according to the strategy that i even teach my student we are supposed to be buying why because if you have a ranging channel and the market breaks the ranging channel it's either two things it's either the market retraces back to that channel and come back or comes back without retracing so i'm turning between what will happen first Will they retrace fast? Because you can see clearly there is no retracement, guys. So for me, I was thinking out loud, you know, the way you talk to yourself, will they retrace here or will they retrace here? But understand, is I'm just asking myself out loud like that because I cannot expose BW strategy. But for you, because now you have to ask yourself, those are the sum of the question you ask yourself. For me, I already have a strategy on this and it is telling me to buy. But still, I feel, how can I buy? Yes, it's 200 pips, but what if there's hidden agenda? So I had to squeeze this chart. I had to squeeze this chart. Remember, I love 
uh, ranging channel because ranging channel started from June. So we have June, July, August, September, October, November. So six months the market has been ranging. And then now you have been given an opportunity to buy. So the question is, is it a bay or is it a finally a move? So many people like jumping in this buy, but they don't ask themselves, is this market a bait? You know, the way you give a chicken, if you're in Africa, you know how we do it. If we want to, 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 to eat a chicken, like you want to, can I call it kill it or something? You start uh, putting some maize, like we put some maize in, in, in a line. So the chicken will start eating the maize. It thinks there's more food, but it doesn't know it's the food that we want. You can imagine, such a, uh, an example. The same way, this can be the food we are being given by the, the, the market makers, the banks. And you think, oh, I have 200 pips. And immediately you enter, the market retraces. And is this market can retrace. Because when you look at the weekly time frame, retracement can go way to the, where the, you see where we have that red, uh, we have the red support. We have one support. It has a potential. Let me tell you, this market has a potential to drop back 400 pips to activate a double bottom that maybe it is only on, on, on my weekly, not on monthly. Let's check. You see, it can come there because they know if we take this market to that area, this double bottom will now help us to come and activate. So I want you to always have that eye. And that's why I keep praying for my student to have have no, got to open their eyes. Because if you don't project, for me, I love projecting. Anytime I don't project, I get into a hole. So I need to project. Yes, I'm buying. But what if they come down? That's 400 pips I'm blow down. So it's either you get to a big loss, you blow your account, or you lose your money. So for me, I felt, let me first squeeze this chart to see what is happening. Uh, I just want to know what is happening on my left. Because this thing seems too good to be true. Yes, I'm being told by, but what is happening? So I come and flip my chart. Let me zoom in. I come flip my chart and I find one candle resistance. So I'm thinking, okay, so I have this one candle resistance. We have a very good double top. And these are the possible double tops. I think they are used by the banks because they are hidden. You see this double top is from, 2008 guys we are 2023 so that is almost how many years um to 10 15 years back so as a, a double top that is 15 years back and you're thinking oh my goodness if this thing can work this thing can drop quite big time so i was trying to see have they activated this double top because if they are telling me to buy and they have activated that double top, it means now it's that pure, pure trap. So I see they have not activated the double top. Now you see the chances of targeting half, they are being reduced. Why? Because even if you enter buy, you can only buy to that area. They target, because if you buy past this area, they'll have hit a double top of 2008, which is powerful. So now my chances of buying have been reduced from 221 to 65 pips. Can you see guys, imagine chances of you buying a market that could have given you 221 has been reduced to 66. So if you want to buy this market, you buy 66, but that is not yet because you are trying to get 66 pips, but I've told you this market can first do a retracement of 400 pips. So the question is, is it worth? Is it worth to trade 66 pips? But the market can retrace. If you have to put a stop loss on this trade, your stop loss is the lowest zone. And this is our lowest zone, 400 pips. So my, my zeal to buy Euro JPY ended there. And I was doing this analysis and I was asking the Holy Spirit, okay, open my eyes. What should I do? I should not buy because the chances of buying are less. The, even the stake, what I want to gain versus what I may lose is bigger. So I don't want to buy anymore. So the idea of buying 
ended. But I am believing this coming week on Monday tomorrow, the market even can buy and activate because it's 66 bits. The market can activate very good and activate and we have a double top, a 2008 double top of Euro Jepo. That is big news. These are some of the trades that we need to make a key. Like these are the trades that God gives you that needs to define who you are as a trader. So I go to daily time frame and I'm thinking, Okay, let me check on the daily time frame. What is happening? Do I have this, the same uh, ranging channel? So on the daily time frame, I have the ranging channel and it has been going. Like uh, the buyers are really struggling because you can see from the weekly, we are seeing a perfect move. But from the daily, that's where we can see struggle because momentum candle retracement and then indecision candles, and then another red candle, meaning the buyers are st really struggling to pull this market up. And that's an indication of danger. So I said, let me first zoom, uh, zoom out to see what is really happening. On my 2008, if I can go back to that 2008, where weekly I can see um, a possible double top, can I see something? Could it be on the daily? There's something that I'm not even seeing on the weekly. And let me tell you, if you look for something willingly, you will get it. It's the will that help us to get what you want. So I was just even, I, I, I had no intention that on the daily I will find something. But I find still a one candle resistance on the daily. Can you see? This is a green candle. Note, on the weekly, we still have one green candle. Now on the daily, I still have this green candle. And I'm thinking. Okay, I have one green candle. And this green candle, I already know what it means. It means it can activate a double top on the daily that is not on the weekly. So I start dragging my zone because I really was hoping that this drag, like this um double top has been activated by the daily buy. So I was dragging, hoping and praying God. I pray, oh God, for this for this double top to be activated. So I am dragging, you can see how I'm dragging. And this is 2008, this is crazy. That is 15 years ago, 2008 double top, possible double top. The question is, if you don't apply the Holy Spirit, how will you know that you have a double top at 2008? So let's, let's zoom in. This is the zone that we want to check. So we zoom in like that, we zoom in and guys, what I was seeing is accurate because I have already done these two lines. You see there are two red lines is to help me to put my zone accurate. So I see something like that and I'm telling God, wow, God, you're amazing. It has activated our double top on 2008. They have not violated because we don't want to see something like this. If any daily time frame breaks that area, it means we are done. We do not have a double top on the daily. So we have only one chance and that is weekly. So we just, we have to maintain, we have to maintain um, the market not to violate. So that is, that's out of our hands because there's nothing we can do. So I'm just, I'm, I was just curious with that double top because if you go to the weekly time frame, this zone that we are seeing on the weekly, so this is the zone that we are seeing on the weekly. Trust me, it's not anywhere. Let me show you. That zone, it's not in the weekly. So I want you to go and analyze. Can you see what you are seeing on the weekly? It's a red candle. We don't have anything. It's a red candle. And then this what we are seeing on the weekly, it is not on the monthly. So on the monthly, in fact, on the monthly, it's a big red candle. So monthly, we don't have something like double top. So they, they have a chance of using a, you can see, on the monthly, we do not have, we do not have a double top. Let me show you. Can you see it's a very big red candle? We don't have, but now on the weekly we have that has not been activated, but the daily one has been activated. The daily one has been activated. So the question is, where is our neckline guys? Where is our neckline? So I was quizzing my chart like that. 
and I found out this is my neckline. It was so crazy, guys. I found out this is my neckline. The neckline of this trade is 2022. The market, oh, it's not 2022. See, the way it's too big, like, let's first make sure the chart is squeezed so that we can see all the areas. So the neckline is 2020. No, again, we have a week. Yes, I think that's, is that the area? Even now, I'm not sure. So let's allow it to. Mm -hmm. So it's taking time because it's 15 years data. 15 years data is not a joke, guys. This is not a joke. So we still have, yes, we have located it. That's our neckline, guys. Oh my goodness. Our neckline is from 2012. So I want you to do me a favor. I want you to analyze your JPY with no hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Analyze your JPY and always alert me if you get an opportunity. So that's our neckline is from 2012. That's where our neckline is. And if you want to measure our half to see where the market might go, that is our half. And our half is very far because those are 6,000 pips. So our half, of course, is like 3,000 pips. And then we can measure quarter of the half. So half of the half. So at least we have a workable area where I will, I will put it color blue. So it was very interesting because this is a swing trade. You know, when you have a very swing trade, you even enjoy because you know if this market gives you an entry, you don't have to hold back. And you know the reason why, guys, I started, um, I was so concerned with the market is because on the weekly, it was giving me a, a, a buy. And it was a very good buy, like market has broken a range. Even if you are analyzing and you're analyzing a ranging channel and this ranging channel breaks like that, you will think this is gold mine, like the market is coming to half. But let me tell you already, double talk on the daily has been activated, meaning we have to use what? WBB, like my eyes, if there's something that you have to pay attention is Euro JPY, because my eyes are on this Euro JPY. We have to, my eyes are there. So we are using WBB. For those who don't know WBB, it has three entry signal. So three entry signal. Number one, we keep repeating this for people to understand. Check, wait for red candle. So we are waiting, all of us are waiting for, for red candle. Number two, check what? Check if it's bearish angle. Check if it's bearish angle number three if not wbb wbb is where you put the box so that's what we are we want that's what we want and um when you you'll be checking every every because these are daily trade we are checking every single day so we have to be careful on Every day, don't miss the trade. So in, in case this trade on Monday closes like this, guys, you have an entry. You have a sale in case it closes like this. And you see, you don't have many obstacles. You don't have many obstacles. So we have a sale up to around here. So this sale can drop, guys. It can drop all the way and come to the weekly. So once the market comes to this area, we don't want to joke with it. And also we can even be starting to look like cup, inverted cup in handle because if the cell is saying it is all the, that distance, like cell is far, the, you see where the market is. If this is where we are being told, this is where the market can come, maybe it give us a, like a cup in handle. So what we are trying to look for this trade, I don't want to make this video big. I want you to look for, I want you to look for, we call what bearish angle of a red candle you put a box if you get a small red candle put a box if they break that's a sell entry so if i check on the four hour 
if I check on the four hour, you can see buyers don't have strength. And um, four hour has started to tell us that this market is going to go down. Why? Because we have started to find our first support being broken. Four hour, they don't break support like that. If they start breaking support, it's an indication that this market will sell. So all the best, Euro JPY, will be your swing trade. Once you enter that, at least you will say, the trade that I was trading the month of November, don't forget, remember on October we were trading Euro CHF. So the trade that it has like a, a high time frame and a very, very good opportunity is Euro JPY on a sale. So I want you to go to forex.com, check on the news. If we have JPY news, it can favor us. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Bye-bye. Love you.